Hi, today in this particular video, we'll see like how to fix Fium controller. So Fium controller is a popular multiplayer modification framework for the PC version of Grand Theft Auto V. Why the controller is not working with Fium? So the many users have been expressing their frustrations regarding the controller is not working with Fium in different forums or different platforms. The problem can occur due to different different reasons or the various reasons. So the connectivity issue between FIM and controller are one possible cause where faulty cable or the loose connection might be the culprit. Okay. So make sure you check that there is any loose connection or if there is any problem with the cable like a faulty cable. Okay. So the another reason would be the drivers for the control which can result in incompatibility problems additionally it's worth considering that outdated versions of fium may contain bugs or technical glitches that lead to this problem. so make sure like you always use the updated or the latest version of the fium application because if whenever if you are using a old version or if it is not an updated version like it might contain some of the bugs or it might not be compatible with the system which you are using okay. so now let's see like how you can fix this particular problem like uh, controller is not working on fine application okay so the first solution is to check whether the controller is properly connected so ensure that the controller is properly connected to your design your device okay so <clears throat> we'll see this particular link okay so make sure like there is no loose connection or the fault faulty cable that might be causing this particular issue okay so if it is possible what you can do is like you can just remove the cable and you can reconnect the cable okay because if there is any fault or if there is any loose connection that will be resolved if you just remove the cable and you can reconnect the cable okay and the second method is to overcome the problem by updating your bluetooth drive okay so make sure like you always uh, update your bluetooth drive okay so what you can do is like to check the bluetooth driver updated or not what you can do is like you can go to the start menu and search for device manager go to device manager okay you can go to the this device manager okay so this is the device manager okay then open the device manager and expand the bluetooth or bluetooth radios category then you can right click on that bluetooth adapter and then select properties so once you select the properties go to the driver tab then click on update driver okay so that the latest drivers like the bluetooth driver will be updated then follow on screen instruction to search and install any available updates if there is no updates found or the persist so visit your computer or bluetooth adapter manufacturer website so suppose if you are using any uh, any good system like HP or Dell or Lenovo, or whatever it may be, like go to that particular website, and, uh, visit the adapter manufacturers thing. Okay, then look for the latest Bluetooth driver for the specific model. Then download and run the driver install installer. Follow the provided instructions. Then finally, you can restart your system in order to complete the complete installation. Okay, so whenever you update or whenever you install any kind of applications, software, or if you install any kind of new drivers or if you update the drivers, so make sure like you always restart the system because once you restart the system, then only updates or the installations will be completed okay 
so that's the main thing that the second method and the third method is to restart your device sometimes it could be temporarily glitch causing the issue the controller due to which might not be working on fire so what you can do is like you can restart your system or you can restart your pc or laptop or whichever you are working on which you are using the pym application so so the restarting the system can also uh, one of the way where you can overcome this particular problem okay and the fourth method is to enable the controller settings on your steam if you are using the fym via steam ensure that all the necessary controller settings are enabled so if you want to follow this what you can do is like you can just if you want to do this you can just follow this particular steps go to settings then select the controller settings so once you go to the controller settings so make sure like the support for the controllers that you are using is all on okay so here it might be off in one of the options like make sure like it is on for all the options then simply plug in your controller okay so the, the fifth method is so check for the pym update so as i told you like it's always advisable to install or keep updated the pym application okay so installing or keeping the updated version of the pym application uh, will not have any kind of problem and you will not face any kind of issues okay so these are the methods or these are the ways like where you can uh, see like how to fix the controller not working on pym application okay so we have seen why the controller is not working and we also saw like how to fix the controller.